Hey there, and thanks for joining me again. Today I wanted to show you a neat trick that you can do with the getProgramInfo string function. So what I'll do is just run the program and show you what happens, and then afterwards explain how I did it. Okay, so let's execute the program and I'll explain it as we go along. So I have four circles, four dimensions, and I'll just let it run there. Okay, so after the program is finished, there's a report that shows the total measured and the total out of tolerance. So this is an operator comment, so I'll need to click OK to continue. Next we have a question, a yes-no comment, indicating the number out of tolerance and giving us the option to either print the report or not. So if we wanted to go back and check some features, some of our measurements, we can cancel this, investigate, and then re-execute. So in this case, I'll say no, and that's the end of it. Okay, I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing we need to look at is these assignments. The first one, nm, get program info, and in brackets and quotations, this is important, the wording num measured. So that will report the number of dimensions in our program, the number of measured features. The next one, OT, is the same command, get program info, and in brackets and in quotations, NMUOOT. So that's the number of out of tolerance. So because those are variables, we can plug them in and use them in uh, equations and expressions. So the first place I use it is that operator comment. So this is just a report, so in brackets again because it's a string command. Total measured equals and then the space and then the variable, nm. The next one is the same, same type of expression, but this time we're plugging in the variable for out of tolerance and then OK to continue. Moving down a line is the evaluation of the variable, so if there's more than zero out of tolerance, it goes to the comment, indicating the number out of tolerance and giving us the option to print the report. So what I've done here is included two print report commands. So the first print command will only execute if we answer yes to the question above. If we answer no, it'll go to the end of the program and it will finish without printing. The else and else command here is the alternative. So that means if nothing is out of tolerance, if it's a perfect part, it will print automatically. Okay, so that's it. So let's run it again. I'll give, give you another chance to look at it to see how that works. Okay, so same thing. This is just the report. I'll click OK. So this time I'll actually want to print it. I'll say yes to print the report. There we go. So another thing that happens is it opens automatically. That's another thing I've controlled. So I'll just close this for now and show you how I did that. So you can see in my code here for my print command, it says auto open report and I have that set to on. So that's a new feature and that's a really handy one if you want to see it automatically. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. Quick little tip on um, what you can do to summarize your, your part program at the end of execution. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Hey, so while I've still got your attention, I just wanted to take a moment to promote our e-learning training program. If you like my tech tips, then you may want to check out our series of instructional e-learning videos. Our CMM e-learning courses are internet-based and cover the complete PCDMS training courses from start to finish. This will be the same material covered in our classroom training, with the added convenience of allowing you to view them whenever and wherever you want. For more information, please visit the training section of our website.